Hey guys, I just got this camera in the mail today from Tigus. It is a floodlight security camera, model number ZY-E5. Uh, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna do a quick install and play around with the app. It does have 2K full HD video. It's battery powered with a solar panel, which is really nice. It's Wi-Fi, connect to your 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless router. It does have an alarm bell. It has two-way talk, it's waterproof, it has motion sensor, and integrated spotlight. So let's get it unboxed and installed. All right, first off, we've got our user's guide. We'll go through that in just a minute. And we have a solar panel. That's a solar panel, very nice. We have a charging cable because it does need to be charged before you do an install. Uh, we have a mounting bracket for the solar panel and a mounting bracket for the camera, or vice versa, I'm not sure yet without reading the guide. And our camera. We see our camera. Let me peel this guy off. I love that sound. We've got our antennas. Um, all right, so that's this is all we have here. This should be a pretty simple install, and we'll download the app. Uh, if you if you're wanting to download the app, you go right here on the box, and I'm sure it's in the user's guide as well. But I noticed if you're running Android, uh, Android or iPhone, uh, you just scan that, and it takes you right to your to your app store or your Play Store to download the app, which is Zoomy Mall app, and we will uh, we'll check that out in just a minute. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code to download the app. So we will scan the QR code, maybe. There we go. And we will get it installed. So you're gonna do it, you'll either create an account or you'll log into your account here. Once you make it into Zoomy Mall, the app, you will want to add the camera. This is the camera that we're adding. Okay, so we've got to press and hold the device power button to start the device. It's on the bottom half of your camera. And it says power. Press and, we've got to hold it for four seconds. Once the light pops on and starts blinking, you can let go. It'll come into blinking mode. Okay, now it's ready to install. We go to next. by holding the reset button for five seconds. The power Wait for the indicator light to flash red. The reset button is on the bottom. It is on the uh, opposite side as the power button. We'll hold it for five seconds. It makes a little noise. And as soon as the light comes back on, there it is. Now we're just going to wait for it to start blinking. Once it starts blinking, we can go to next. Okay. Next. Select the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Once you're connected, you can just hit next. It asks you if your password's Please correct. Please remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. So I've already Keep removed the film. Eight inches from the lens. I made a little bird chirp noise, which means connected. it read it. Please wait a moment. So now it's connecting. There it is. Put camera and phone at the place of camera in. And you just make sure the camera and the phone are around the same area, and uh, it'll let you know whether or not it's a, a good, strong connection area, or if you need to move the camera somewhere else, which I've already pre tested it, and I know that where I'm going to mount it is a good, strong internet connection. So, all you really need to mount this is a drill and the stuff they sent in the package, which includes the screws, and you should be good to go.
make sure you got a good viewable area for the sun. It's a USB micro. Uh, you gotta pop this little guy out here. Shove your USB cord through there. Make sure you've got it going the right way, otherwise it won't go in. And now we'll go get on the app and do our fine adjustments. This is the angle you're currently seeing. And if we want to adjust it, we can adjust it real time. You can see a little bit more of the drive. How does that look? It looks pretty good. And that way if somebody's coming up the drive, we can see them. One of the neat features is the two-way talk. Hey, what are you doing out there? Uh, I'm here to pick up Denver. Is he here? <laughs> no, he's not here. You'll have to leave. Come back another day. And it's that simple. It really is neat. Switching from your live view to your history view is pretty simple with the buttons here, but if you don't have an SD card or you're not paying for the service, you will get that SD card not detected. So you will not be able to see anything that, you won't be able to see a UPS pull in and drop a package off or a neighbor walking by or anything like that. And you can see your calendar. Uh, if you've had it up for multiple days, you'll be able to go back in time and see. But once again, you will need that SD card or you will need to pay for your cloud service. Another thing you'll notice if you're accessing the app, um, a Zoomy Mall, and you're, you're looking at a live feed of your camera, you can just click anywhere on it and it brings up a little, uh, a little square with arrows pointing to the outside of the box. If you click on that, that'll bring you to full screen mode and from there you can hit record or you can snap a picture uh, you can talk real time when you hold the button down you can see it says hey anybody out there you can see and there's of course nobody out there but you can turn the sound off if uh, you've got some feedback or if you're just tired of hearing the sound and then to go back you hit the little arrow in the top left corner now one of the really cool things about this app zoomy mall is uh, the way it's currently set up, if somebody drives down the road, we're going to get an alarm. We don't want an alarm. If our neighbors pull out of their garage, we're going to get an alarm sound. And we don't want an alarm sound, so we just click on the right gearbox up in the top right corner, alarm management, alarm area. It'll open up into a full screen checkered box. The paintbrush will let you select where you want the alarm to be. And say we only want to be notified when somebody enters the drive. It's as simple as that. We'll click save. Save successful. And now when somebody goes outside and they're in just the area where the perimeter we've selected, we'll get notified. So it's really that simple and it's, it's pretty sweet. One of the other things you can do is take a screenshot and then that way you've got a screenshot of what's going on. You can also hit record. You can record while somebody's coming in. So we can record this conversation. It can show you right here where it's recording. Now you will need an SD card or you'll have to, uh, you'll have to pay for the cloud service, which you do get a seven day trial period, which is pretty nice. So one of the cool things about how good of the quality it is outside I mean, you can see it's just so, so good. And you can actually change it to an HD from the SD, which is going to enhance the quality of the video by 10 times, it seems like. So if you want to uh, turn the light on automatically, you can. And it'll kick that on, and then it'll switch over uh, from night mode to day mode. And then you can turn the light off. So when you walk in front of it, the light automatically comes on. And if you want to change the time of how long the light is, you just simply go to the gear up in the top right corner and then down to your light settings. And you can do the brightness of the light because it is really bright, which I like it like that, so I'm going to leave it that way. But you want to manage lighting time. You can have it automatic or you can do custom. Uh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, we'll do 10 seconds, okay. So that way uh, the light stays on for 10 seconds and then it goes off. 
And it really is just a crystal clear image. And I'm actually going to go out there right now just so you can see. You can see it is really bright and you can see just about everything there is to see out here, which is nice because if somebody pulls in the drive, you can see, you should be able to hear me talking just fine. And my face is probably a bit blown out because of the intensity of that light being so, so bright. But it really makes a great floodlight. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, the floodlight security camera ZY-E5 uh, Tigus camera is an amazing camera. And one of my biggest takeaways from it is the fact that it's completely wireless. I love the fact that it has a solar panel. I don't have to run wire to it. I love the fact that it's a Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 gigahertz connection, so I do not have to uh, run a cable to it, Ethernet. So it is really a, a nice camera. If you're looking for a great camera to buy uh, for security around your house, just to see who's pulling in your drive, see who's dropping packages off at your home, uh, you want to check the backyard for deer or whatever it is, I highly recommend this camera.